What's up guys, my name's Captain Dave and welcome back to Mass Effect where last time we left off we saved Dr. Liara Tassoni from the Prothean device she somehow managed to get herself stuck in that Prothean bubble and the Geths and that one Krogan that Saren set after her but she is now an official member of Team Shepard Is that what we're calling ourselves, Team Shepard? Presley, what are we calling ourselves? Nah, okay, you, you think about it. But anyway, we're back on the Normandy, and a rather quiet Normandy. Normally there's some <laughs> normally there's some music playing in the background, but for some reason it seems a bit hushed. Maybe everyone's starting to get a bit antsy with all the aliens on board. Who knows? But anyway, our next order of business is, other than our side quests, we have two places. Novaria, where Geth are apparently interested, and Pharos, where the Geths have actually attacked the colony of Zeus Hope. So I think Zeus Hope, the area the Geths are actually currently attacking, should be a priority at the moment. So we are heading off to Pharos. But before we head off to Pharos, there are a few places within this star system that we can still explore and still check out and stuff. Because obviously, the more sort of experience and the more upgrades and stuff you can get earlier on, the better. As is with every single game there is anywhere ever. <laughs> Um, I've decided that since how on these planets, unless it's a planet that's colonised by people, it's normally pretty boring, there's not really much to read. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and search all these planets, and if there's a planet in which I can land on, then what I'll do is I'll land on it, and I'll go around and I'll search and I'll get all the minerals and stuff like that. Unless anything happens to be interesting on that planet, like... Message coming in. This. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. Yes, something <laughs> interesting like that. Thank you, Nasana. That was very, very well timed. Congratulations. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and search around because I believe one of her missions pertains to one of these planets. I don't know which one it is. But I have to go meet her on the Citadel first, but I'll be doing that a lot later. I can always come back to these planets. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go have a look around and check out all of these planets. And unless anything particularly interesting happens to happen on these planets, other than me just finding minerals and stuff like that, I'll, I'll just cut it out and then I'll be back with you once I've finished. So unless anything interesting happens, I'll see you on the other side. Okay guys, I am back and upon my travels I ended up on the planet Sar Sargelia, I think it was, something like that. And I have come across multiple bogies or tangos or whatever they're called when they're on the floor and it's a stronghold. So I figured you guys might want to see me bust some forces. Oh my god, there's a lot of turrets. I have probably taken the wrong way in. Quick Mako, drive before you run out of shields. Jump. Right, let's take a bit. <laughs> let's take a bit more of a tactical approach. The Mako can shoot up; it can't shoot down. So let's let's go from this way. Now, oh, there's that one down. Only like a hundred more to go, I guess. Slow and steady. No reason to rush in. Plus, the Mako shields need to sort of recharge a little bit. Boom! Well, at least they go down with one shot, I guess. Get out of that tower. Oh no, the enemies are not everywhere. They are just here. But I am a force to be reckoned with. Especially since it seems like my Mako skills have increased a little bit. Where else have we got some? Oh, you escaped by the skin of your teeth. Ah, I still killed you in the end. Where's the last guy? Running away won't save you. Now, if I'm correct, I believe this place... Yeah, it is Tally. I believe this place may actually pertain to... Where is it? Nasana, who talked to us just now on the radio. She said she wanted to speak to us at the Citadel first, but I believe this may be the place she was going to send us anyway. Oh, well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? And I brought Garrus and Tally with me, just so you know. Tally, obviously, because we're in the Mako, great tech strength. Garrus adds to that tech strength, but also adds a little bit of combat for us as well, just in case we need to do stuff like this. But don't worry, I'm not going to be taking Tally on every mission. You don't need to worry, I like to mix it up. Okie pokey, oh, looks like we've got loads of enemies in here. No rest for the wicked, eh? 
Alright, what, what are you guys holding? Garrus, that. Tally, I unlocked Carnage for you. You can feel free to use your shotgun. Oh, down, right. Who we got? Oh, this. Oh, 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 a Krogan pirate. You are getting up out of our face straight away. Right, now he's up. I want. Do we have someone with warp? We don't. Sabotage, overload. Hmm. Ah, oh, tally. Carnage. Take out the Krogan. Ooh, pirate over there. Tally, you can hit him with a sabotage. And... Have we got anyone sneaking up behind us? I thought we did for a second. Meh. Yeah. That'll do for now. I don't think Tally even got a sabotage off. There we go. I was wait. Oh, alright. Jeez. That's a bit rude. Oh, I had warp. <laughs> Maybe I should have done something. Alright. You're going to hit an overload on that one. You're going to hit an overload on that one. And hope oh, on that one. And hopefully things should go boom. <laughs> oh, some explosions are awesome. Get on the wall, Shepard. Who else we got around here? You ain't going to hide, are you? Fine. Mamed won't, the mountain, uh, Mamed won't go to the mountain. The mountain will go to Muhammad. Hit, uh, warp on you. Wow, that person just took out Garrus and nearly killed Tally at the same time. Sit down, hurry, pirate. What else we got left? I'm not gonna waste my medi gel on Garrus. He's gonna come back alive soon anyway. Where is this last one at? Shields. Whoa! Okay, Carnage, destroy her. I need to heal us very quickly. God, these guys do like no damage. <laughs> like they're terrible, and then as soon as they get close to you, they really put in some work. Hit an overload. Let's get over there. Oh, I was about to say get over there and finish the job. It looks like we don't have to. Oh, I'm so a sorry slaver. She is going to hurt us. Right, you hit dampening, apparently, I think. Dampening terribly disables biotics and tech. Yep, you definitely hit dampening on them. And I'm going to marksman up. Oh, actually, no. Lift. Sorted. Now is not the time. Oh, now's the perfect time. Everyone's dead. Oh, fuel tank. Maybe I should have blown up that when I had the chance. Radio. Yeah, I think this was the place. Yeah, get off the wall, Shepard. All the enemies are down. I think this was the place that uh, Sarah was going to send us to. But oh well. <laughs> Maybe we can just come back with the good news. She'll tell us to go and do something, and we would have already done it. Oh, sweet. And if I don't use any of that stuff, then that will make some perfectly good Omnigel. Which, <laughs> if we learn anything when we're picking up a Liara, we're going to need inside the Mako. Ah, oh, loot. Precious, precious loot. I think our team needs some better armor, needs some better weapons, and needs some better mods. I like those radioactive rounds. They're pretty good. Oh chemical rounds or whatever they're called but what I really want is incendiary rounds once I get those things I just destroy my enemies fire them once and let them burn alive anything down there is that just an exploding canister you lead I'll follow indeed you will unfortunately when you're on these little side quests these side missions your your crew don't really have man, many like interesting things to say a malfunctioning object Oh, I wish more objects would malfunction. Decryption skill too low. Really? Oh, actually, no, that does make sense. Because even though I was... <laughs> this is probably something someone's been shouting at me for a long time. I was throwing loads of stuff into uh, Tally's electronics. 
So they look, look restore shield whole of the um so basically every time I heal the Mako the whole thing gets hold like healed instead of me having to sort of like constantly do it. But what I forgot to upgrade was decryption. And that's what that's what you need for opening stuff like this, which is the thing I should have been <laughs> which is the thing I should have been doing the whole time. The thing that I thought I was doing in Yep, yeah, and that. That's what I thought I was doing with electronics, but it was decryption that I really should have been upgrading, but oh well. You discovered evidence that the Asari leading these slavers and Asari Adantius, an important ambassador on the Citadel, are sisters. You should return to the Presidium and confront Nasana with this. Ah, so maybe that's what Nasana wanted us to come here for, to cover her own back. Right behind you, Shepard. Good, good, good. But anyway, damn it. <laughs> I can't believe I've been throwing all that... <laughs> all those experience points in both Caden, Garrus, and Tally, all in electronics, when all that does is restore the hull of the... The Mako, which I mean, don't get me wrong, is needed because that thing is flimsy as, but I really wish I was sticking it in decryption instead. Oh well. We've still got some decent stuff from here, not as good as it could have been from, I mean, I'm guessing a safe and everything would have had a lot better stuff in it, but anyway, I think I'm done here and I think I'm done on this planet, so I'm gonna head out of this planet, look at a few other planets that I need to go check out. Again, if anything interesting happens, I'll let you guys know, but until then, I'll see you just before we attack Pharos. I'll see you in a bit. What's up, guys? I am back, and we have officially gone and seen and collected and changed every single thing inside the Art... was it? The Artemis Cloud... Artemis Tau Cluster. We have gone along and we have done everything there is to do here. So the next step is we are off to Pharos. But naturally before we, even though Pharos is quite in, clearly indicated there, we're going to head off to the Hercules system first, just because there's a few things there. Just because there's a few things there that we can check out and see and stuff like that. Message coming in. Patching it through. Like this. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Oh, that was a very... <laughs> Admiral Hackett, that was a very sort of... It's a boring sort of message. But anyway, we have got loads of places to see around here first. So let's just check out all this stuff. I believe there's actually a planet we can actually go on the surface of and check around. Ah, survey. Good, good, good. Boom. Survey. Oh, God, this one looks like the sun. I'm glad we we don't get to go down to that planet, and I believe we actually get to travel to this one. Indeed, we do. Oh, look, that's a very Earth-like place. Level one toxic hazard. You wouldn't think it looks quite a lot like Earth, but yep. For anyone who wants to read it, there you go. Pause the video at your discretion. Let's go check it out. This may even be in the place that Admiral Hackett wanted us to check out. Alright, who should we bl bring along with this one? After my old uh, <laughs> mishap with the decryption. Hmm, we're probably going to be in the Mako again, so... Yeah, obviously I'm going to bring Tally standard, because we're in the Mako and it's not a main mission. It's alright, as I say, we're, I'm not going to bring her on every mission. It's just these side missions with the Mako. I've updone her electronics so much, it would be silly not to bring her along. And let's bring along... Let's bring along Caden. Why not, Caden? Why don't you come along and check out the scenery with us? <laughs> wow, it's a shame this planet's toxic. It's very pretty. But anyway, let's have a look on our map. Ooh. Oh, of course, yeah, we can upgrade Caden. Can't be twenty. Wow, is that how long it's been since I last used him in the mission? Woo! All right, let's put up your decryption level. You can be my decry decryption guy, since how I've wasted the electronics on Tally. Master sabotage. Yeah, let's get your decryption right to the top. There we go. Where will we bring Caden? We should be able to decrypt anything. 
get advanced overload. And now, um, Sentinel, what's that? Pistol damage, accuracy, and cooldown. Let's unlock advanced barrier. Let's unlock lift. Your biotics is what I use you for other than your tech. And let's unlock medicine. Brilliant. Anybody else? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, and as you can see with Shepard on one of the other planets, I leveled up. So I managed to put a little bit more into tactical armor, which means I now have my shield boost up. Which is always good. Where was this? Was this the one for Lost Module? Go to the Hercules system, and yeah, well, this is it. <laughs> this must be the one we needed to go to. That worked out nicely. Alright, so let's check out the map. Where are we heading? Da, da, da. Got the debris there. So the anomaly's there. That's where we need to head out. Oh no, downed recon probe. That's where we need to head out. So let's go down here. Let's check out this anom anomaly first. And then we can get to the down probe last. Right, I'm going to head over there. And I'll see you when I'm there. Although I'm half tempted to leave him in my travel this time. Because the scenery is actually quite nice. Yep, but as nice as it is, <laughs> I'll see you guys when I'm there. Okie dokie guys, I am here at the anom Anomaly, and it looks like a giant ball. Are we about to play marbles with some geth? Well, it doesn't seem like there's any geth in the area. A Prophean Ruin. I'm starting to think maybe we should have probably brought Liara with us. Hmm. Oh, let's give it a look. Maybe we can liaise with Liara on the Normandy. Mysterious globe. Wow, that is a lot of reading. Huh. Well, that was pretty interesting. <laughs> I don't think I did that last time I was here. Anything to say about it? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, do you want to share that thought? No, that was actually quite interesting. It showed that this must have been like one indestructible oh I even left a mark on there but um now a couple of thoughts on that actually one it shows that uh, the Protheans were sort of like studying earth and stuff like that but it's a couple of things that something that that is actually not only is that all present in, in uh, the future Mass Effect games right at the end of like well, I don't want to don't give anything away but it's present in some of the other Mass Effect games and also what it said there, like a little side thing that you can easily miss is actually sort of like a big feature in some of the other parts of the game, like not Mass Effect 1 but like 2 and 3 and it's just, I think it's quite cool how that they left that, like little bits like that that you could easily miss end up becoming such a major part of the story and like obviously now with hindsight having completed all three games and everything and looking at that it's really interesting like seeing bits like that and just seeing how it grew and developed and even back here in Mass Effect 1 they knew how it was all going to play out at the end I just think his little stuff like that is what makes these games so great and why you should really stick them out and sort of experience them for their full worth but anyway I'm going to continue to do a bit of parkour up this mountain <laughs> and eventually get there and I'll be back with you when I get to the other side okie dokie guys upon my travels I have come across this it seems to be it looks like the same sort of mine entrance that there was when I met up with Liara. And... I wonder if I can run these over. What are these? Are these... Monkeys? That was a little extreme, wasn't it? Remind me to stay on your good side, come on. <laughs> that was pretty good. What are these things? Are these... Are these Pijak? Boom! <laughs> Whoops, I didn't actually know I could kill him. I kind of feel bad now. <laughs> well, uh, Tally, Caden, you, you saw nothing, okay? But anyway, we're going to go check out what is inside this mine. I mean, why not? It's here. I'm right here. Glad to see that my crew didn't <laughs> weren't too offended when I decided to shoot up the pie jack. Ugh. 
gooey. So, what do we have here? The monkey doesn't have the module. The monkey doesn't have the module. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the module that Admiral Hacker has. Why am I looking on monkeys? Some metagel. See, the fact that I'm looking on monkeys for the module, I'm getting a feeling that I'm probably going to have to come back here looking for this module. Either that or I'm about to skip a major part of the game, just like I did with Asana. And find the module, like, before I'm supposed to. Oh well. The joys of RPGs, you can do the game however you feel. Alright, nothing around here. I'm stuck on a rock. More monkeys. This monkey doesn't have the module. Tell you what, I've never heard a monkey make that sound before. Another monkey. They yeah, are saw you. Don't think you can run away from me. Apparently, uh, <laughs> the monkey doesn't have the module. Oh, I thought it did when it made that weird sound. Apparently, I've uh, I've heard about this like part of the game before. <laughs> Apparently, if you're playing Renegade Shepherd and not Paragon Shepherd, instead of searching the monkeys like this, <laughs> you just have to blast them instead. Which I think it's pretty funny. I wonder how Caden and Tally would react to that. Monkey does not have the module. What do any of these monkeys have the module? Where am I going? Dead end. Dead end. Oh. Well, either the monkeys in here are going to have the module, or I'm going to end up having to backtrack again. Monkey doesn't have the module. He dropped the data module! It's a miracle the data module is still intact. Joker can transmit this info to Alliance Command. All right, Tally, no need to shout. <laughs> shout did like we're about to die. Oh, at least we know we can do average decryptions. It must just be the hard decryptions that we're not going to be able to do. It means we get some good loot too. Oh well, now we know that that one had the data module. We might as well check out the other chamber anyway. Especially if we're going to get more loot like that. So I've got a feeling now if... Uh oh Who's shooting us? Geth? What are the Geth doing down here? Oh, we have multiple Geth. Oh, we do have multiple Geth. Alright, Caden, you can take that side. Geth destroyers. Wow, we have quite a lot of Geth. We may be overrun here. Alright, Tally, can you do an overload on that? And Caden, I'm going to need you to... Oh, Neuroshock, that's not what we need. I'm going to get you to overload that one. And on that one, I'm going to... Marksman. Wow, well done, team. That was good. I've got a feeling I have a guess behind me. Yep, good guess. And I'm doing the duck walk. Right, Caden, you need to sabotage that guy for me. And Tally's dead. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to lift up this guy. Stop him from shooting. They should down. All right, where's my boost my shields back up again? And Caden, you can... Oh, actually, no, you don't have boost shields. Okay. Oh, he's nearly dead anyway. Anyone else? Oh, Geth snipers. Alright, maybe we need to take cover from these guys. Get out from behind the cover. Gotcha. Caden, uh, lift him up. Whoa! Wow, I did not expect, <laughs> expect to get... A, yeah, I didn't expect to get a Gef ambush when I come out of that. One moment you're searching monkeys for modules and the next minute you're getting attacked by the Gef. This crazy beautiful planet.
No, no more monkeys down here. Oh, whoops. Oh, I was just about to say, I better have something good in it. But yeah, that was alright. Plus, last time I was on the, no the Normandy, I converted a lot of our junk. Normally, when I've like upgraded all the my squad and stuff, I normally sell everything else. But this time, instead of selling it, I converted all of it into Omni Gel. So, we we have we can use a little bit of Omni Gel here and there. Oh, crate open! Oh, that was right in front of me. Da -da -da. Have I already checked around this area? Oh well. Where'd it go? There it is. All right, let's make our way out. Unless I get attacked by Geth on the way outside again. But yeah, what I was going to say before is like, I think we're probably going to get to Am Admiral Hackett's like, data module thing that I was supposed to check out. And it's probably going to be empty now. Or at least we know it's definitely going to be empty because that monkey had it all. What an odd, odd side quest. Oh, anyway, I'm glad I checked out this mine now. Oh, I thought it had gone night time in our absence. None of you guys have the module, no? Alright, good. Anyway, I'm going to continue to search this planet, and once I've had a good old look around, I'll be back with you, and then maybe we can head off to Pharos.